Ecuador is making its fourth World Cup appearance, with its only knockout round appearance coming at the 2006 tournament in Germany. After the Netherlands, the second qualifying spot is open. And even if Senegal seems like the better side, can Ecuador create the surprise again? Here are the 10 things to know about the Ecuadorian team. 1. Strong underdog of Group A. This is its fourth appearance in the World Cup for Ecuador after the 2002, 2006, and 2014 editions. Their best performance was reaching the round of 16 in Germany, in the 2006 edition. In World Cup games, they have a 44% win rate, they are definitely more dangerous than people think. In football, every team can beat the favorite, that is especially true in the World Cup. 2. Frustrating 2021 Copa America. Ecuador was able to reach the quarterfinals of the 2021 Copa America. They had to play against Argentina, who ended winning the competition that year. Against the team of Leo Messi, Ecuador lost 3-0 last year, with La Pulga scoring the goal of 3-0. 3. FIFA ranking impacted by their Copa America performance. Ecuador is in the 44th position in the FIFA ranking, behind Netherlands and Senegal, but in front of Qatar. In the Conmebol zone, Ecuador is behind three countries not qualified, Colombia, Peru, and Chile, as these countries had a better results in the Copa America. 4. King of the Draws. For their last five games, Ecuador had four draws and one victory for zero loss. They played three teams participating in the World Cup for 3-0-0, Mexico, Saudi Arabia and Japan. 5. First World Cup for their coach. Gustavo Alfaro joined Ecuador after the short and unsuccessful tenures of Hernan Dario Gomez, Jorge Celico, and Jordi Cruyff. And even though, Alfaro has more than 30 years of experience as a head coach, mainly in Argentina, this is the first national team coached by Alfaro. At the head of the Ecuadorian team, Alfaro has won 11 games for 32 games played, which gives him a win rate of 34.4%. 6. One of the youngest team in World Cup. La Tricolor is the second youngest team of the competition behind Ghana. The new pearls of the Ecuadorian team are named Moises Caicedo and Piero Hincapi. Caicedo impressed all the top clubs of Premier League and Europe after his fantastic performances with Brighton. Hincapi is also making a name for himself in Europe, where he is a starter in the German team Bayer Leverkusen. 7. Perfect equality with Qatar. In the past, Ecuador played three games versus Qatar for one victory, one draw, and one loss. They played two games versus the Netherlands for one draw and one loss, and played only one game against Senegal for one loss. 8. The first game against Qatar will be decisive. Ecuador World Cup will depend of their result against Qatar. Any other result than a victory will sound like the end of the competition, as it will be extremely difficult to win against Netherlands and Senegal. 9. Overview of the team. Ecuador is a very solid team defensively, in 32 games under the current coach, they conceded 32 goals. For their last six games, Ecuador didn't concede any goal. If Ecuador mainly focuses on defense, it's because they are lacking efficiency and solutions in the attack. They scored 42 goals in 32 games, and they mainly score against weaker teams like Paraguay and Bolivia. The last good result by Ecuador was against Mexico in October 2021 when they were able to win 2-3, in Mexico. In this game, Ecuador had three shots on target for three goals and only 28% of possession. 10. Tactic, starting lineup and expectations. For the last five games, Alfaro kept changing the players and the tactic. He mainly tried a 4-3-3 and 4-2-3-1, some players played most of these games and are certain to start, like Estupanen, Hincapi, Caicedo, Gruezo, Valencia and Ibarra. This should be the starting lineup for Ecuador. As they experimented a lot before the World Cup, it's certain that the coach will adapt his tactic and starting 11 depending of the opponent. For our expectations, everything will depend on the first game against Qatar. If Ecuador is capable of winning versus Qatar, they will battle for second place with Senegal.
This was our 10 things to know about Ecuador. What do you expect for Ecuador? Do you think they can come out of the group A? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Enjoy the World Cup and see you on the next one.